Hey guys, David here, BurlyMan40. Uh, this video is a follow-up video to the video I did yesterday, uh, letting you guys know, for those of you who watched it or saw even the title, uh, may be aware that I entered my very first beard competition yesterday. <laughs> uh, I, I did not go anticipating entering any sort of beard competition. I actually went to meet some great Instagram uh, friends uh, that I had not met previously, but just knew through Instagram. Uh, went down to this event called Octobeard Fest, um, which coincides with our local annual Oktoberfest here in Cincinnati, which is quite a big event for us. Um, but Octobeard Fest was taking place at Memorial Hall here in Cincinnati in a very, very cool building, like an old music hall. Um, <clears throat> I want to go back some time with my camera and just photograph this building. Very cool place. Uh, so anyway, Octobeard Fest was going on there, and I went not really knowing what was going on or anticipating even being on my radar to enter any sort of beard competition. Um, I was embarrassed to even s suggest that I would enter one because I'm very much small potatoes um, in the beard <laughs> world. Uh, but I got to tell you, I met some super nice guys. Uh, I did finally <laughs> decide to enter the competition um, very reluctantly. Uh, but some super nice guys, and I've decided that bearded folk and pipe smokers are the two, two coolest groups of people you could ever want to meet. Uh, and so many of us pipe smokers are bearded or have facial hair of some sort, and many of the uh, bearded folks I met smoke a pipe. So yeah, just great, great people. Uh, I'm super glad I did it just to meet the people that I met. Um, very, very cool event, very fun. And um, I was just really excited to, to be there once it all got started. Very fun, festive atmosphere. So anyway, October Fest, this beard competition, um, had, I think it was 12 categories. Uh, everything from a uh, children's category where kids could put on fake beards and mustaches uh, to a women's category where they could do the same thing and most of theirs were fake as well. Uh, and then the guys with the, just the mustache category or full beards or freestyle and partial beard, which is what I entered, um, many categories. It was very cool. So there was a kind of a category for everybody and every type of facial hair. It was very, very inspiring facial hair I saw from some super nice guys. Uh, very nice handlebar mustaches, the traditional kind of thing, on up to things that are very ornate and um, just very wow, <laughs> over the top, but in a good way. Um, so I met some super, super nice people. Uh, a couple of the guys I met are pipe carvers. And uh, for you CAPS guys out there watching this, I want to have them come to one of our CAPS meetings. You guys can check out their pipes and just get to meet these great guys. So look forward to that. <clears throat> Still getting over my cold, so I apologize. Um, but anyway, I entered the partial beard category. And it was fun just to be up on the stage. Um, there were eight, eight guys in my category that I entered. So I kind of knew going in that I wasn't going to win, you know, uh, they had a first, second, and third, and uh, so I wasn't going you know, to be too disappointed, um, but it was fun to be part of it and to be up on that stage in that incredible building. Um, well, then I was shocked because as <clears throat> the evening comes to a close and they're announcing the winners, I actually placed. <laughs> I got third place in the partial beard category. I was blown away. Um, there were some incredible, incredible uh, facial hair in my category that did not win for whatever reason. And I know all judges with things like that, judges all the, have their personal taste and preference and you don't know what they're looking for. But had I been a judge, um, honestly, from if I had been judging this category and saw me, I would have said, hey, fine, good start, but come back next year. The other guys that were there, uh, I would have any of those, any three of that remaining group would have deserved to win. So I was really shocked to win. Um, so that was really cool. So not only did I get my first beard competition, and I say first because I bet I'll do it again, uh, my first beard competition under my belt as a representative of uh, one of the guys from the Cincinnati Beard Barons now that I want to uh, uh, actually officially join and, and start going to some of their meetings, uh, some really cool guys there too. Uh, but beard groups and beard societies from all over were there being represented. Um, I'm, I'm just learning about it. Um, so very, very cool. 
Anyway, so yeah, I was totally shocked to actually place in a beard competition. I mean, really. <laughs> Look at it. Um, but anyway, it was very cool, very fun, met some great guys, and I'm glad I did it, and I would do it again in a heartbeat. So any of you with a beard club or a beard society by you, get connected with those guys because they're going to be great guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, I'm still on a high from it. It was a lot of fun. And uh, I think I'll start paying a little more attention to my whiskers now just to keep them groomed a bit. <laughs> So guys, thanks for watching. Take care and uh, put that in your pipe and smoke it. God bless.